Here, darling, take some Civil War condoms. I don't need this many. I'm not that active anymore. Hello again, sports fans. Rose Biederman here, sports lady, and today we have a treat. A legendary member of the championship New York Knicks, Earl the Pearl Monroe. Welcome, Earl. Oh, it's nice to be here. Earl, you're a legend. You're one of the greats. You're revered. You're respected. Stats up the ass, MVP this, MVP that, Hall of Fame. What does the Pearl stand for? Well, that happened when I was in college. I was averaging over 53 points a game. Can I cut you off, darling? Go for it. I'll tell you a small story. You're not going to believe this. My sister-in-law's name is Pearl. <laughs> An asshole. Selfish like you wouldn't believe. Doesn't lift a finger. Comes to the house empty-handed. Not even a bopka. It's very sad. But that's not like you. Who was the greatest player ever? Oh, probably Wilt Chamberlain. Ah, Wilt Chamberlain, feh. Let me tell you something, Earl. The 20,000 sexual conquests, I want to stop the rumor right here. You know, and you could back me up, because you were around in that time. I never had a drink with him, not even a wine spritzer. Although, <laughs> there was another seven-footer of your day. I think you know who I'm talking about. I don't want to mention any names, but I did fool around with him for a little while. I'll tell you a funny story. I was covering my usual beat. And uh, I'm at a game, and he goes up for a rebound, the seven-footer. Meanwhile, a guy half his size cuts in front of him and grabs the ball. So I jump up and shout, Box out, you seven-foot schmuck! And he had never heard a lady talk like this. And then he got even more excited when I said, It's fundamentals that win ball games, you big pussy! And I'm right about that. Am I right, Earl? No question. But it turns him on, and I could see you're getting a little turns on, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. I saw those Civil War condoms. Ah, you see? There you go. My kind of guy. So anyway. We go back to my room. He turns the light on, I turn it off. He turns it on, I turn it off. Finally, he turns to me, he says, can I call you mommy? Mm. Call me mommy. <laughs> I say, grab your shit and get the hell out of here, you seven foot freak of nature. You, you're six three, you're gorgeous, but over seven, that's a lot of crap, you know? <laughs> I haven't had the experience. Yeah. No. <laughs> You know, Earl, I have to say this. I admire you. You're sitting under these hot lights. You don't even break a sweat. I have guys in that chair 60 seconds. They're sweating and stinking up like pigs. Mm. One in particular, I don't want to mention any names, but he's on the Kansas City Royals, okay? It was so disgusting, I had to put one of those pine tree car things around his neck to cut down on this bench. <laughs> <laughs> I drive a Cutlass Supreme. It drives like shit. What are you driving? I drive a uh, Lincoln Continental. Oh, pardon me, a Lincoln... <laughs> Oh, Myron, we're out of time? Aye, I didn't have time to ask you about your record-producing career. I love that rap music, that kooky, 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 zany rap music. You do that? I love it. Yeah, <laughs> it turns me on. One last question, Earl. Yes. Doggy style, pro or con? Con. You see, I told you, Myron, you son of a bitch. Under seven feet, always con. You'll come back, you're an angel, and I love those curly bites. This is Rose Biederman, sports lady. Bye-bye. Guests of Rose Biederman receive a case of tits and ass beer. Next time say, I'll have tits and ass.